just wanted to introduce myself. I am, I'm His Child 29, and I am a music person, so that's, those are the only videos that I've posted to date um, on my channel. So I thought I would go ahead and record myself tonight because I have gone kind of, um, I've gotten kind of addicted to the natural hair community. Um, I went natural back in 2005, I believe it was April of 05, um, is when I got my last perm. And I've been getting perms since I was a little girl, maybe about five years old, so I've never known the natural texture of my hair or, you know, had to deal with that kind of thing. So in the beginning, it was a bit frustrating. Um, and I was like, heck no, you can't even sweat, I'm, I want my perms back, <laughs> you know, it was crazy. Um, but, um, so I had kind of a hate relationship with it in the beginning, but um, then it turned into a love-hate, and now it's a love relationship. And I think it's just a matter of me learning how to deal with my hair, um, how to tame it, um, so that it can become manageable. And um, I do get it straightened a lot um, through pressing and flat ironing and so forth. But I try to go lengthy periods between that, you know, have, putting that heat on it. But um, it's, you know, putting heat on it, unless it's in a protective style, has been the best, easiest way for me to manage it without having to go back to getting perms. So, um, so that's what, you know, I've been doing. I can't do my own hair. I still... As much as I love it, I still can't, like, do it as far as straightening it to the point where, you know, I'm satisfied with it. Um, I have... I'm still not quite sure of the texture of my hair. I think I'm a 4B, 4C maybe. I'm not certain. But, um... I guess the whole reason I went natural in the first place was because I have a twin sister and she, um went natural when she was pregnant and when she got her hair done for the first time in the shop her hair was beautiful it was soft it was flowing and bouncy and just so healthy and um, I didn't know if that was because she was pregnant because I know sometimes when women are pregnant their hair just grows and it's thick and full and beautiful and I've heard the opposite can happen too but in her case you know I'd never seen her hair like that so I said you know what um, I'm going to try to go natural, and I did, and um, I didn't do a big chop, I just gradually would get my ends trimmed, um, you know, each time I would go into the shop, which would be like every um, six weeks, I would try to stretch it out to six weeks, four to six weeks, so, um, and then when I started getting more on YouTube and looking up natural hair uh, videos and stuff, is when I started learning about protective styles, but I've always worn braids. Um, as a teenager, I wore braids a lot, and my hair seemed to grow the fastest when I had it braided. And then when I got into my 20s, I started doing um, weaves. And the first couple times I got weaves, my hair grew a lot, and I liked it because it was faster. It only took like a couple hours to put it in. But a few experiences afterwards, I noticed my hair started breaking off more, and, and especially along my hairline, and I didn't want to lose that. I thought I had a pretty decent hairline, so... Um, you know, I stopped getting weaves and I just stopped putting so much heat on it and then that's when I went natural and my hair just, you know, it grew and it got thick and then I discovered wigs. <laughs> so I would wear like um, half wigs or, you know, where you leave a little bit out and um, so I wouldn't have to deal with my hair or, you know, put heat on it and so forth. But I would say over the last mm, couple years, I have gone to the shop more. Um, and I would just wrap my hair at night so I wouldn't have to put, you know, any more heat on it and so forth. And it, I, it lasted pretty well. Um, so about um, two and a half weeks ago, I got my first set of kinky twists. And these aren't the traditional um, kinky twists that I see a lot of the women have. Um, I guess it's a bit longer than what a traditional kinky twist is. I don't know if there's a certain length that a kinky twist has to be to be considered a kinky twist. I don't know. And the young lady that did my hair, she started out braiding it and then she twisted it. So, um, 
you know, I would attempt would have attempted to do it on my own, but I wanted it to come out right. And I'm sure if I sat down and watched a few of the young ladies' videos on here to see how they did it, I'm sure I could do it too because I do know how to braid. Um, so, um, but I am loving it. This is, I think, of all the hairstyles I've ever tried, I love this the most. It took it only took five hours to put it in, um, and every day, um, although I kind of slacked off over the last few days. But in the morning and in the evening, I tried to keep it sprayed down with, um, my scalp sprayed down with um, this braid sheen. It's by The Roots. It's a braid sheen and conditioner with shea butter. And I got it because I do have a dry scalp problem. I guess I would consider it eczema. I don't know. Some times it's worse than others. It'll flare up. And um, when I wash it, I use tea gel. And I let it sit on my scalp for a few minutes, and then I rinse it out and I wash it again. Um, but I did buy, and I don't see it, my Palmer's Olive Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. And I love that the last time I used that to when I got my last braids out. I washed with that and detangled, and I had, a, I had good results with that. So I'm, I'm probably going to use that when I wash these. Um, but I've been spraying it down morning and night with this the Roots Braid Sheen. I like the fragrance. Um, and what sold me on it was it had the tea tree oil, as well as jojoba oil, aloe vera, a lot of good stuff in it. So, um, you know, do that morning, do that at night, and I'm good to go. So, um, anyhow, I didn't mean to ramble so much. I just, I've seen all the other women on here just, they're, they're doing the natural hair thing and their hair is so beautiful and I'm determined, determined to learn how to take care of my own hair and not be so frustrated with it when, you know, um, I can't get the results that I see other people getting. I know it's a process. So um, my sister bought this Cantu Shea Butter and she defined her curls. Um, she's been practicing with it and today, you know, I was looking at her at church and her hair was beautiful. She had the ringlets going on and we're twins and she has a better grade of hair than I do. I don't better, more manageable grade of hair than I do. Um, so, but her ringlets were beautiful and before I put these in, um, you know, after I washed my hair that morning and I let it air dry, I put the con leave-in conditioner, my hair was doing I mean, that's the best it's ever done, you know, as far as in its natural, natural state. And so, um, I think once I take this down, I'm going to try to define my curls and see what happens. I don't know. Um, so, anyhow, um, just wanted to introduce myself. Um, I'm a God-fearing young woman, so um, most of what you'll see on my page is the music is God-honoring. Um, and I like to add music that's like throwback music, throwback contemporary gospel, stuff I grew up on, um, Fred and Hammond, classic Fred Hammond, and Dawkins and Dawkins, and, um, and I like this, I guess you can consider it like a neo-soul type of gospel, that's a category I just created, <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it, but people like, um, Antonio Neal, and, um, I guess it's not really neo-soul, but I like I don't I just like that genre, like um, who's the other person Leon Tembo I have on there, um, and Jenna Burke I discovered her on another um, music website and I love her music. Um, she has a song called Psalm One Nineteen One Ninety Eight. She's on YouTube, so if you um, just look up Jenna Burke, you'll find her and. I just love her music. It's so like mellow and relaxing, and that's the kind of person I am. I just like to. I stay so busy that I like to um, just listen to her. That kind of music, just mu soothing, mellow music, and you know it's Christ honoring, and I'm all for it. So, um, so anyhow, that's my introductory video. Um, I may do more of these of myself. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. But thanks for subscribing if you are a subscriber or for requesting my friendship if you've done that. And I'm sorry if I don't always get back to you. Sometimes I might, it might take me months to get back to you, but 
I've got like a zillion things on my plate, but I do like check into YouTube to see what the latest thing is that's going on. So please forgive me if I haven't written back to you or commented or thanked you or whatever. So please accept my thanks now, my apologies, and I hope you all take care and have a blessed evening. Okay, until next time. Bye.